Breaking news, folks, breaking news. Small Business Superhero Podcast has just landed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Small Business Superheroes Ladies Podcast. In gentlemen. this particular video, we are going to talk about drawing inspiration from the success of others. Because too often we see people who get jealous of the success of others. But truthfully, there's a lot of lessons and motivation that you can draw from seeing people who have been successful. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong, mad scientist. Right hate, or wrong. I hate that term. Uh, jealousy will get you nowhere. Inspiration will get you everywhere. So why not turn your jealousy into inspiration? Be inspired about the person who's successful. Because if he can do it, you can do it. Is that, that's how I look at it. What? In plain English. The, that's part of the, uh, you remember the, um, <laughs> the, the, uh, the triad that we would use. The, the pre-qualification triad. The question is, is anybody going to kill you dead or eat you alive uh, inside of there? Yeah. And, and no. The, okay. And so two, number two, has anybody anywhere ever succeeded in what you're trying to do? Yes. If the answer is yes, then you can do it too. And then the third wall of the triad is, is it physically possible to succeed at what you want to do? Yes. So then you should go ahead and go for it. That's right. Take a run at it. So long story short, We'll keep, we'll keep on subject for this one, I swear, people. Long story short is I used to be jealous of my in-laws because they were very successful. I was jealous for a little bit. I was like, oh, I, how come I'm not successful? How come they get the golden horseshoe? I'm t you've never and, told me that now, before. Yeah. Never. I'm hearing this for the first time, people. Well, I'm happy for them. I truly am happy for them. But I'm like, how come that ain't me? How come I can't get that break? And what I've realized as I got a little bit older and started doing this for a living uh, I didn't understand all the hours they put in to get where they were at. Seven days a week, 24-7. Yep. Marketing, 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 working, working, going, reaching out, going for that goal. They just they went for it. As I sit there and go, I'm just waiting for it to happen. And so with that philosophy change, uh, we recently had a, uh, we had a conversation with one of our clients who's very successful at what his little niche is. He mm -hmm. went for it. Wildly successful. Yeah. Like runaway success. Yeah, and, I'm, and I was like... Old me would have been like, why? How come that ain't me? Mm -hmm. Hate a hate a, you know, <laughs> hate the players. And um, so, <laughs> so how come they got so much and I have so little? <laughs> but uh, I know it's funny, right? Um, so it's it like a cross between Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams. That kind of was a little bit. Yes, it was. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, I'm inspired. Actually, I, I have not stopped thinking about it since that last Friday. We had a conversation with them, and I am motivated more than ever. I'm in, I, I have been inspired to go after my niche, my my desire, my my um passion, mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen overnight. He's put in a lot of hard work to get where he's at, and he's still going up. Yeah, the the saying is, is something along the lines of it takes about three years of hard work to become an overnight success. Yeah, yeah. because people they, they you know they didn't know who you were yesterday, and today they know who you were. Oh, he's an overnight sensation, but truthfully, been been grinding away for a long time to become that overnight sensation, that yeah. overnight success. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. So I have I have gathered a lot of inspiration from him, and I'm kind of like I was kind of fanboying a little bit, not because of his extra thing, but I was just like. You went out and did it. You did this. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I didn't know it was possible. And e even we teach the triangle, you know, and sometimes it's hard for me or you to even believe it. A lot of it was the, the fact that you were able, you pointed out some concrete things, you know, because when you're in the moment in 4-4 four, four time, four, four time, it's hard to kind of absorb everything that's that's being said, everything mm -hmm. that's, that's being done. Um, and then... Some of the concrete things, like you know, I've I've just finished doing this. I I'm, I just bought this. I'm going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. My next project is this. Mm -hmm. Those concrete things, those real things that have scope and dimension to them. You you find yourself saying, "Wait, wait a minute. That's I would I would love to be able to do that type of thing. I would love to be able to complete that type of a project to bring this type of value to an audience." Um, to even even something as simple as just like a luxury that without thinking to be able to buy so that that type of a luxury yeah, exactly those concrete things they stick with you they hang on otherwise they're just platitudes out there you know if you could dream it you could do it and, and yeah. yes if you can yeah. dream it you can do it if you can visualize That's, it it will materialize but yeah. for something concrete you know I just went and I did this and I made this a goal and I achieved this exact goal 
This is the value I brought to my audience. This is the project I was working on. This was the result of the project. It was wildly successful in this way. That's concrete, and, and you can look at that concrete success and say, wow, I, that, there is a goalpost that I'm willing to work for. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was also you hear about it. You know, you're like, well, I have a friend of a friend that does this. I have a, you know, it's like I've heard on TV or I saw this person in the newspaper. But I actually sit down. In the room. In the room. Yeah. In 4-4 four, four time. Yep. I, the whole time my brain was like on fire. I was like, this is his goal. And he's he's achieved it. I want that same goal. Yeah, it is different when you 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 get in the room with people on different levels because yeah, the average person is the average person. It's it's no different than you know when when I was bodybuilding. You know you you had your your average gym rats and then you had like real hardcore lifters, but then eventually you meet a world-class bodybuilder or a world-class strongman or a world-class powerlifter. And I met each of those things. And when you're talking to that person, that world-class level, it's a completely different mentality they have. Mm -hmm. they, the, the way that they behave, the way that they talk about things, the way that they, they don't even consider the idea of, you know, a, a, they don't consider the idea of a root beer or a, a Coca-Cola or whatever it is. No, cheat day Sunday. They, they, it's not even yeah, on their radar. The discipline. Like the idea of I'm yeah. tired, I'm not skipping a workout, that kind of thing. It doesn't even cross the radar. You and I have talked a, a few different times about the fact that when you deal with people who are on this type of an income bracket, mm -hmm. they have one way of thinking about things. Oh, I, I wonder if I can make the payments. And, you know, I bet if, if I move this and move that, then I can make the payments. And in five years, I can have that paid off. But then you talk to people who are in that, that you know, mid six figure income bracket yeah and their mentality is completely different oh i can definitely make the payments i'll probably i'll probably put down a big chunk probably 50 percent up front have a real small monthly payment and you know, go ahead and get it paid off in a couple of years well yeah they, it, they think they think more of like not saying they're smarter money but they are they use money to its full advantage more than me or you yeah to me i got it i give it to you for this for them they're like i, I got this money and you got me what can you do for me for me to give you this money yeah. kind of thing? It's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, the way up. you're phrasing it sounds a little bit more mercenary than it is in practice. Mm. It, it becomes more a, a game of, you know, how can we bring each other value? Right? Yeah. It, it's, it's not, I'm a customer and I'm here and I'm on bended knee. Can I give you this <laughs> and get that thing that I really have wanted? Please, uh, please sir, can I have some more? Yeah. Uh, as opposed to, you know, we, we, we each have value. All right. Yeah. Now let's let's talk about how we're bringing value to one another so that we each leave in a win-win scenario. Yeah, Th that's something yeah, that doesn't exactly. even cross most people's minds. No, but, mm -mm. but then you go to that next echelon and you start dealing with millionaires, which we have rubbed elbows with millionaires now, and and their thought process is, is just different. It's just different. Completely different. Completely, Completely different, different thought different. process. And it's even it's it's awful. It's difficult to really understand because whereas you and I would say, man, I saved. 600 bucks because I fixed that thing in my driveway myself. Right. It took me all of Saturday, but I was able to fix it and I saved 600 bucks. That millionaire would say, all of Saturday? Do you know how much money I could have made in that nine hours? Yeah, exactly. They yeah. look at the thing, I'll just pay somebody $1,000. I'll pay, $1, I, yeah, I'll pay somebody $1,200 and I'll make ten grand that day in that nine yeah. hours. Yeah. It's, a, it's a whole other thought process. A whole other thought process. You know, I'm waiting for the day when, when we rub elbows with billionaires and... I want to see what that thought process is like. You it's know, be, but be. if I if I can merge these two companies, uh, it'll probably net out about two hundred million dollars, and I can use that two hundred million dollars and create another company, and I'll be able to employ fifty thousand more people. I mean, that's major value that's being brought, and yeah. we just don't. I, I don't have the ability <laughs> to 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 visualize what that looks like in practice. Very much like. Like that, that client we're talking about, now you're talking about dealing with somebody who not only fits in one of those income scenarios, but is also famous. Yeah. A person with both of those things, that's a, that's a wildly different thought process. Mm -hmm. Because the level of value that they're able to bring to certain scenarios is something that even, even a wealthy person can't do. A person who's only wealthy cannot bring the same level of value to companies the way that a person who is wealthy and has notoriety yeah can do yeah, yeah so i mean that's just the way i think turn off the jealousy turn on the inspiration and you'd be much happier 
I mean, I thrive off the inspiration that I just got recently last Friday. And I could easily be jealous and be like, why not me? How come I'm, I'm doing it? I'm trying things. It ain't working for me. That's easy to fall into. And you, I used you, to be that person. Yes, but you stopped drinking the haterade. I stopped drinking the haterade. Yeah. That's right. That's right. important. And well, I realize I'm like, <laughs> it doesn't, the success these people have, everybody I know that's successful didn't happen overnight. I, I missed all the times where they're just, just grinding and they're doubt. I, I, I missed, well, I'm understanding now because I got my grinding going on. I got my mm-hmm. doubt. So now I'm in their shoes more on the tail end of their success. Well, it's not just going, your doubt. It's also there. the third-party doubt. People are are more oh, than happy yeah. to tell you what you can't do. That's a whole other podcast. We'll discuss All that right. another time. I, I've got a few things to say about oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I, agree. I do. Well, this is the Mad Scientist. And Dave the Barbarian. This has been your Small Business Superheroes update. We're talking about jealousy versus We're talking about drawing inspiration inspiration from the success of others. That's right. Drawing inspiration from the success of others. That's hard to say. Selling sells cheese. Drawing inspiration from the success of others. Drawing inspiration from the success of others. Drawing inspiration from the success of others. I've only got three in me. We're done. Yeah, that's (laughs) good. Like and subscribe. Ah, yes. Like and subscribe. (laughs) Go to our channel, amsdynamics.com. Google Small Business Superheroes or go to our website. That's our world, everything. We got merch. We got merch. We do. We got merch. Buy some merch. You know you want to. It's good stuff. It's good quality <laughs> cotton. And we got polyester. I don't know about cotton and polyester, but I know it's got a really nice logo hey, on it. Nice so it's got logo. the characters and the wise guy writing on there. <laughs> so Small Business Superheroes. Navigate yourself to we AMSDynamics.com are, oh, and pick yeah. up a shirt. We're here for small business and entrepreneurs like yourself. Thank you for watching. And I'll push the button. Extra, extra, the Small Business Superheroes podcast on all of your favorite podcast platforms like Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, Anchor, iHeartRadio, and many more. Small Business Superheroes is powered by AMSDynamics.com. 